Hi, my name is Sean Fundiller. I'm the general manager of Flower Child Arcadia, and I am a flower child. My name's Kelsey, and I'm currently a restaurant manager for Flower Child. The thing that I love working about here the most is that I not only work with coworkers, but I work with family members. My name's Isa, and I work at Flower Child Arcadia. My favorite thing about working at Flower Child probably is that you get a sense of friendship and family when you work here. It's not just coming in here and being another restaurant, it's actually coming in here and celebrating things with your family. They make working here worth it. Um, I put in long hours, but it doesn't feel like it when I'm with these people. My name is Michelle McEldowney. I am the lead baker here at Flower Child. Um, avocados are my favorite food ever, so the avocado hummus is money. Uh, my favorite dish probably would have to be the forbidden rice bowl, and what I get with that is I add the shaved chicken to it with some avocado and cashews. Just a little secret if you ever come in, add avocado and cashews to it because you're going to want to do that. I love getting to take home gluten-free mac and cheese for free. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Issa and I'm a flower child. Kelsey and I'm a flower child. My name is Michelle and I'm a flower child. Um, it's a personal experience, 110%. Our relationship with our customers goes so far, we don't call them customers, we call them guests. Um, this is what we like to think is our home, and to invite somebody into your home um, is kind of past that customer experience. It's going the extra step. It's saying, hey, how's your day? What's going on? Are you working? Are you relaxing? Are you doing both? Um, how's your kids? How's the job? Um, and really breaking down that barrier of just the interaction of buying food. Um, it's not about that. It's about the people and the people business that we're in. Um, with our distributors, you want to know where you're getting your products and you want that to be a personal experience. If you don't make that a personal experience, there's almost no point to be selling organic and clean, healthy food. Um, you want to know where it's sourcing from, you want to know who you're dealing with, um, and you want to be able to get those results and have that relationship more on a personal level. We like to go as local um, as possible, um, and that's um, because that's what we're a part of. We're a part of a community, and you want that community to reflect, you want your business to reflect that community, and that's how we do it. So we source very locally, and we try and source um, that as much as we can. We use about five local vendors to do that. Um, you know, we are not 100% organic, but very much follow the Dirty Dozen. Um, so the Dirty Dozen is this list of, um, of um, product that we like to carry um, organic, um, and we do not sacrifice on that. So that is something that we are unwilling to say, hey, we're going to buy unorganic spinach, um, because those are the products that are most susceptible to pesticides and the things that people are coming here to avoid. Um, so to sacrifice that would be like sacrificing a guest, and we're not willing to do that. Um, so we stand very firm, um, and I believe we stand amongst some of the top competitors in, in regards to organic and clean, healthy, organic food. So some of the more special things that we do do um, is the kombucha on tap um, and buying the heirloom products that we do. Um, and that really just goes to show you how important this is to us. It's more about the feeling and the trust that we build with our community. Um, if you go above and beyond, we've noticed that the return on that in relationships is above and beyond. Um, so bringing in these extra products really allows you to stand on two feet and say, hey, we are doing something special. 